Hi everyone, welcome back to the next vlog and if you just watched the vlog before this you'll know that I'm literally just continuing on to vlog because today it is time to tackle the wardrobe situation. I literally haven't even looked at the clothes yet, haven't unpacked my shoes, my bags, any accessories, they're all just like still thrown into boxes. So my friend Jamie, um, she's from a company called Horderly. It's actually her and her husband Philip who do it together. I think they have a big team now, but I basically met Jamie, I think it was like two years ago in my old apartment, and it was just her doing it at the time and I think she was like just at around 10,000 Instagram followers and now fast forward she's like grown her team she does like wardrobes for everyone right I see her all over Instagram when I'm searching through people that I follow and I'm genuinely not surprised because she's amazing and as soon as I knew I was moving in here I messaged her I was like Jamie please come help me with my wardrobes like two or three days after I'm in I'm definitely gonna need the help by then because we actually have two big wardrobe so they're pretty decent sized and definitely I was a bit worried when I viewed the apartment I was like is it gonna be enough room oh my god like you know I'm used to having the two bedrooms but when I look back on the old apartment even though I had the two different bedrooms for my clothes the storage like it wasn't smart storage like this wardrobe is way way better so we've one in the bedroom and then we've one in the other room kind of as you walk in so I'll probably put my clothes in here and then Tommy, bless him, thankfully he doesn't have a crazy amount of stuff. Um, he's like a typical boy. So we're gonna share the other wardrobe and I'm probably gonna do like my coats and blazers. Oh, I think that's her. So I'm gonna do other stuff out there and she's gonna help us do it all. So I'm gonna buzz her in now. I'll check in out. Look who is here, hey Jamie. Guys. She is literally the best. We met like, I was saying though, I think it was like two years ago, was it? it it's, yeah, been a while. Yeah, so long. It was long. when Kaylin lived with you. Oh my God, like yeah, two years. That is crazy. So now she's back in the new place and we're gonna do the wardrobe. So, so I'll show you the befores now and then when I come back soon, I'm I'm sure they will look a lot better. <laughs> so this is the closet that we have in the bedroom. As you can see, like it's pretty decent. It's very tall. And then it has these three hanging areas, two shelves here and then kind of a separate shelf over here. And this is all like summer gear, like summer outfits and not so much swim, but just actual summer clothes right now. So this is the very messy before. I literally just put everything into the wardrobe when we were unpacking. I didn't even put them in like categories or anything. So Jamie's gonna come now and fix all that and then I'll show you the other closet we have. And then we have like a coat closet basically in, right inside the door which is gonna act as a proper closet. So me and Tommy are gonna share this one. So just like the other one, things are thrown in right now. These are all my things but they're very messy. Tommy's stuff is kind of up here but it's messy too. And then there's this big area here which we possibly could add another shelf long. Like this is like Tommy's sports gear and stuff. I just threw them into the pink bag. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of potential. And then some more of Tommy's clothes are in this suitcase. So definitely excited to see like how we do this one because we will be sharing it. But I think it should be fine. Like it seems like there's like a good bit of room. Okay, so I'm just gonna go and leave Jamie. Bye. Best of luck, <laughs> and I'll show you what it's like when we get back. Okay, so this okay. is the closet in the entryway. The front closet. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, okay, it already looks amazing. <gasps> oh my god, look at that. Look at Tommy's clothes. <laughs> Yep. He is going to be so happy, but he also is going to have to keep that very tidy. Yes, yes. So the dividers I want you to get, oh, yes. can get today, Perfect. that's going to be super helpful to keep all of these piles together. Um, not from like falling over this just being crammed. All Tommy on top, all mm -hmm. Tommy here, his button downs. Yeah. And then this is Tommy. Mm -hmm. This is Tommy. Oh, these look great. So here's his oh, uh, short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts. Mm -hmm his kind of valet valet drawer i guess yeah. so ha uh skirts, kind of random stuff yeah hats belts watches and such accessories mm -hmm. he's got room in there underwear mm -hmm. socks oh my god he is not gonna know himself and in then the, this is his shoes, his shoes. i left one space open for the ones he's wearing yeah he has one i think he might have even two other pairs but they'll fit in perfectly okay Okay, Very cool. minimal um, shoe we've collection. We've got the space too that we can oh, yeah. play around with. I don't know if he has a bag every day or something. Yeah, he does actually. He can, okay. or even like the sports bag could go in there. Yeah, so that can land there. Perfect. And then oh God, this the is coats. your coats. <gasps> that um, is, you got this to fit in so perfect. Like how? 
That is amazing. This is, this is like so pretty. I know. Ones. That's the first thing I saw when you yeah. opened it. I was like, oh my god, so nice. Yeah, so I just kind of sorted by type. So mm -hmm. like your furs by color and then your your long like peacoat ones by color. Mm -hmm. um, trenches, winter, winter. Bombers. Oh my god. Leather. This is amazing, Jamie. Like genuinely amazing. And then this is your jeans. Oh, so interesting. that'll be different for you because okay, you're not that's hunting okay. anymore. I mean, I knew something was going to have to get folded, so... There's something else folded that okay. I don't think you're going to be a fan of, but Okay, we'll, we'll see. see, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like calling you in a week, being like, we have to change this. Yes. No, 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 I know it'll be fine. So these are dark and yep. then denims and whites. Yep. Well, I mean, it's super organized, so that's perfect. Yeah, and you know, when, once you... I don't know which ones you're wearing most often, but yeah. those ones can start living on top, you know? I just yeah. I color totally but no this is amazing and i love this section down here yeah and if we do have to put a bag in there that's the perfect space for it yep. and then if tommy gets more shoes too we can just yep. add them in down there that is amazing so this is closet number one and i'll bring you to the second one now okay and then closet number two wow this is so this is all for me this one yep this is all you <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna come closer so I can so see. I'll give you a little okay. walkthrough. Perfect. Everything is a little tight, so remember one in, one out. Okay. When bringing in your stuff. <laughs> um, but the way I had to like balance the sections, mm -hmm. I kind of had to make some. It might seem a little random in the okay. sections, but here's uh, your open like sweater cardigans. Okay. Which you you don't have very many. Just a yeah, couple. there's just a few. These are your sweater dresses. Okay. Your rompers. And okay. jumpsuits. Yep. Long sleeve dresses, mm -hmm. short sleeve dresses, sleeveless dresses, spaghetti strap, oh, well, strapless. So nice. mm -hmm. Um, your slips. Yep. I believe. Yeah, they're just like skirts and leather pants. Amazing. Okay, this perfect. This is your pants. Okay, that's the part that you're I worried. It, yeah. Honestly, I mean, that's fine. Like I knew something was gonna have to. We we're gonna have yeah. to use these shelves for. I tried Something. sweaters and it just like I tried a few different ways, but this was the best I came up with. No, we I totally don't trust fold you. Pants, but mm -hmm. we have in the past. Yeah, it's fine. And to be honest, like once we come into summer, I'll be wearing them yeah. less as well. Yeah. It's really like this time of the year I'll be wearing them, and it's fine because yeah. at least I can still see them. Yeah, and they're you can see them great. like really organized, like and the color wise. Aren't too tall, so yeah. like hopefully they're managed. And we'll get the clear dividers mm -hmm. for here too. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So basically, the clear dividers they just like come straight up don't they yep they'll go straight in yeah and come straight up yep, Perfect. just right here so mm -hmm. your bags just yeah kind of this did, like, is your a pretty good ones. system for the bags yeah because yeah, i'm gonna get a little stool <laughs> so i can reach yes. up i'll send you a link to one we love if i did need to put anything else like in that space wow what you do so i'm thinking about hanging your hats back up there. Oh, that'd be Unless a good idea. Unless you like had an idea of displaying them somewhere. No, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is all your blazers. Oh, nice. Dark to light. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is your heavy sweaters, dark to light. Yep. Um, I mixed in your turtlenecks. So I hope that's, that's fine. Okay yeah, that's totally fine. Those differently. No, no problem. So here is your like lighter sweaters. Okay. Um, behind that is kind of like. Like your random guys, so like yeah, this. there's a few random jackets, and then like your 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 sleeveless ones, and then that's like so funny. This. I never know what to do with them either. <laughs> they're like pieces well, that I don't like know. Ones that like could live with the blazers, they could live, and I had yeah. I moved them around a few times, <laughs> but the way the closet laid out, I tuck them here. That's perfect. So this is your light sweaters, mm -hmm. and then here's all of your tops. So long sleeve, dark to light, perfect. Uh, short sleeve, which you don't have very many. Mm -hmm. Um your uh button uh oh like um body, body suits. suits yeah body suits here perfect and, oh wow so organized uh sleeveless mm -hmm. and like sleeveless scraps short tops yeah, yeah. perfect this and this like looks better than i thought it yeah that's pretty good i bought uh, honestly in my last wardrobe they were tighter oh okay yeah. that makes me feel yeah good. no this is i feel like you I, think that it's like squash but i'm so used to that yeah. because i had everything hanging in the last one but they were like i could barely get yeah. in and out yeah in my last wardrobe i remember i forget which section i think it was my dresses section like i didn't even know what was in there because they were so tight together so i think this new yeah. dress section i won't know myself because i yes, will actually you're be gonna able to wear more that. dresses now. i know <laughs> and it's perfect timing too coming into summer oh yeah and we also got these little things what do you call them uh rod dividers okay so that just 
max off each yep. section. They go in front of each section, label the label them. It's like a shop. <laughs> so good. They're so handy. We just got them in the container store. week on I'm very very casual but I figured I'd pick up the camera again because we just did some home shopping of course I completely forgot to bring my camera <laughs> to bring you shopping with me but it was just more kind of like organizational stuff and a few bits but I'm going to show you now what we got nothing too exciting but it's kind of exciting to me <laughs> in a weird way because we're still obviously like getting bits and finishing off and we're gonna put up the pictures today and I'm gonna show you a few of the areas that are kind of like done well kind of done and I have my makeup station in the bedroom all finished so I'm gonna show you that I'll show you putting up the pictures I'm gonna put the picture over the couch um we got new bathroom storage like for our towels and stuff so I'll show you when we put that together um, so yeah, it'll just be kind of like an apartment update. You've seen the wardrobes, so I figured I'd just show you a bit more today because we leave for Australia very soon, so it'll be like a couple more weeks until I'm able to do more when we come back. So I figured I'd show you as much as I can today and just what we've been up to. So first I'll show you what we bought and then we'll do some DIY. Okay, so this morning we went out and got, like this is really boring, I'm sorry if this is going to bore some of you, but if you're moving or if you're in a new place or need to do some things you might find this interesting so we're going to put up our prints and pictures and stuff today so some of them we have to do like nails and tommy has a drill for it and um, so we got them for the bigger ones but then we do have some lighter ones that we used to have in the dining area that we're going to put up again so we just got these they're so good and i had them in the last apartment and they lasted so so well they're from this brand called command and they say that they hold a pound which is pretty decent and they stick on really like really easily so we're going to use them got some bulbs because i put this light here i'll show you this area now once it's done um which will probably be in this vlog hopefully so got some new lights for this because the ones i had were very white so i wanted more like a soft white yellowy kind of tone so got them and then we just went out and got a few bits so we went to target i'm going to show you what we got in there what else is in this bag oh yes i forgot about these so orderly when they came to do my wardrobe we weren't able to find these in um the container store but basically if you have like a normal hanger but you want to hang a skirt or like a pants but you don't want to actually buy a whole new hanger with the clips you can just put these on to your regular hangers and we got black color because my hangers are black and there were just a few more skirts that we had to do see like that so you don't have to actually go and buy like specific hangers now this is probably an obvious thing to some of you but i used to just buy the like specific hangers and then i never knew you could get these so got some of these because i have a few more things to hang off and then we went to century 21 which is a really great store for just like bedding towels we had new towels that my mom actually got me when she was here but i wanted to get a spare set just to have um, so we just got two. I really like these though. Again, kind of boring, but right now this is like the exciting stuff in my life. Um, they're just like plain white towels, but they kind of have this like silvery like line going through them. And these were like, I think $10 each, which in New York actually isn't too bad for towels. And they're really good quality. And then we couldn't find a matching hand towel. And I wanted a spare one, so I just got this one. But they're from the same brand. They're just like a tiny bit of a different like design but i think they'll be okay together and then <laughs> like tommy was absolutely laughing at me getting this but i really wanted it it's like a mini frying pan because we've been really into making pancakes at the moment and um, but we just have to use our big frying pan i think this is actually for eggs but we're gonna do like mini pancakes in this like kind of thicker fluffier ones it actually looks bigger on camera than it is in person it's tiny but perfect for pancakes and it was only like nine dollars or something so why not so i got that and then what else did we get pop these there for a minute and then okay so this is what we got for the bathroom it's hard to show it now and i don't even know wait let me put the camera down so i can turn it the right way 
Okay, so I'm hoping this is gonna work. We're gonna test it out and if not, I'm gonna just return it. But basically this is really handy because we don't have anywhere right now to kind of like fold the spare towels. So this just goes like above your toilet and you don't have to like drill any nails or put up shelves or anything. It just like sits in and you can like decorate this nicely and they have towels up here and you could put like, you know, just some nice bits here. So I'm gonna see how that looks. Tommy's gonna set that up for me now and, and I'll show you once we have it up. And then the next thing's really gonna like show my level of, I don't know, boringness at the moment and how excited I get about the smallest things. But I got another like organizer thing for under the sink. So let me show you this situation. Okay, this is under our sink area. And obviously like you have to have things under your sink. So we had these two and this is like, just kind of like random bits like sandwich bags, tin foil, uh, screwdrivers. Like this actually does need to be tidied up a bit, but right now it's it's fine. I'm gonna like label these, and then this one we have all the spare like cloths and um, tea towels, things like that. But then we had all the cleaning products, just like like obviously the bin is not exciting, but I had all the cleaning products just back there in the corner, and it was okay. But I don't know, I just didn't think it was perfect, so. I got another one of these in Target and it was only like I think eight or nine dollars which is pretty decent for these because these can be really expensive some places like the container store charge a fortune for them so I got one of these in Target and now all the cleaning products are in here um, we don't have that many at the moment because we're still stocking up but we do have the essentials and they all fit in there so so well if my mom is watching she's gonna be very very proud of this whole situation i'm gonna get a little hook for the tea towel here and then i'm delighted with that <laughs> don't say i didn't warn you that right now the things i'm buying are not very exciting but if you have moved recently or you know oh that's tommy one second who is it <laughs> but anyway i forget exactly what i was saying but happy with the under the sink storage not very exciting but it's another job done and that's like sorted now and yeah that's what we bought we also did a food shop this morning just stocked up on some things we found a place actually quite close to us that we liked so we can go there on saturday mornings which is nice it's when you move to a new area it's like I don't know, you have to find all your new spots and stuff. And I definitely want to do a new video soon about like our new area and how we're finding it and like the pros and cons of everything so far. Just kind of our general like thoughts on everything. But today we'll stick to interiors slash apartments. So okay, so this is the before. Obviously there's no shelves or anything here and it's kind of like a waste of a space. So hopefully this will work out and then You've seen this section and I showed you inside here, it's all the same. I'm like really enjoying having that. And did I show you under here? I actually can't remember at this stage, but this is like pretty organized as well. I have like my face cloths for my skincare, like some spare stuff in here, bath soaks, um, nail varnishes, face masks, like these sheet masks that don't fit up top. And then this whole section is like my hair. So hair dryer straightener, curler, brush, all that. So this is actually pretty organized and very handy too. Okay, here is the end result. I just put the towels up quickly and like some things on top. I think we like it. We weren't fully sure at the start. I actually thought it was gonna be more silver, but it is a little bit grey, but then again, it does tie in with the grey mats that we have. I'm just trying to keep the bathroom really neutral and just like very, very simple. And then I moved these from the sink, which is better. I'd rather than be over here. And then I can get some nice, um, these soaps don't really match, like taking that away. Just something kind of clear, even like a tiny pop of colour maybe with the soaps. This one, not so much, but um... Yeah, I think we like it. It is very handy for the towels and just like for those things on top as well. And like we'll probably have um, something over here just for the towels that we use every day or even behind the door. And then these can be where like our spare ones live as such. Let me know what you think. Okay, so next I'm going to give you a kind of a better look slash sneak peek of our bedroom. 
obviously it's not finished so please don't judge it yet um we have the bed um i need to get new pillowcases for our, our like bigger pillows though so i'm not going to show you that because it's not finished and i want to get some like um throw pillows and stuff but i will show you the other side and where i've set up my beauty area ignore this this has to go the shoes are a mess um but let me show you the makeup section okay so on this side of the room we have this whole situation going on so obviously the two big windows which you get the really nice view and the really nice light and honestly when i saw this first i was like why did they put this pillar here obviously they have to for the design of the building and the architecture whatever and i swear i have grown to really really like it because it kind of like in a weird way like you still get amazing light in this room i can get such a lovely like evening view out here um and it just means that you kind of have like two sections so long-term followers will recognize this desk it is my office desk and i have turned it into my makeup desk and honestly i did not think this was going to fit in here i've learned that i'm really bad at spatial awareness and measuring because i convinced tommy that it wouldn't fit and he was like erica i think it will let's try it and look how perfect it fits in it's like it was made for it um so i popped this here and it's not like fully finished yet i want to get some more things for on top and i don't know like I have these up here right now, my perfumes and my makeup brushes, but I want to keep this as minimal as possible because I don't want to block the window because obviously it comes at the perfect height. I want as much light to still come in and just be able to sit here and maybe put like a mirror here or like on this side or have like a little stand up mirror that I can push away to the side or whatever. I still have a bit to figure out, like definitely let me know any suggestions you have in the comments. But I did get all my makeup into these three drawers. Kel didn't believe me. <laughs> she was like, I don't believe you. I have to actually see this in person. But she came and it's true. So let me show you how I did it. So this is just the mirror I have right now. Um, okay, so I had all these like little glass containers, see-through ones um, from my last dresser and they worked out perfectly. I didn't have to buy any additional ones or new ones. What I had worked perfectly. So I have all my foundations on this side. So all my Rimmel ones, which I love. I just popped my concealers in there. My NARS, Huda, uh, Laura Mercier, some primer, powder, and then these are kind of like my BB and CC creams in here. So that's that drawer. And then this one is pretty. Um, I have all my lipsticks. Then these are kind of like glasses, liquid lipsticks. And then these are liners. Then I found like, I think this is definitely not for this reason, but it works for me. It's like one of these things to hold letters, but it works really nice for like my blushes and my highlights. So I have them in here. And this is my Rimmel contour stick, which I'm obsessed with. So pop that in there and there's a few other at the side here and then just back the back are like these two small ones and one's actually empty so I do have a bit of room and then like there's a few bits in here like an eyelash curler and stuff and then these are some spare things so that's that drawer kind of like lips and blush and then in this drawer we have all my like eye stuff so like brows liners these are all mascaras in this one which has this cover which I might throw away but I don't know, I, I kept it there for now because it came like that, but it probably doesn't need it. These are just like my glitter um, shadows and stuff, a primer. These are, what are these ones again? Oh yeah, these are Rimmel ones. Um, I haven't tried these yet actually, I must try them. And then these are the Be Perfect ones. And there's the Stila, which I love too. And then all at the back here are my palettes. So obviously it can be a little bit tricky to get to these so i'll have to kind of maneuver a tiny bit like when i want to get at certain ones but i just love how minimal this whole situation is like everything i need is in here and then on tops at the at the moment but i'm still need to figure this out but i have my perfumes and then over here are my brushes so i don't know maybe i'll like push them both to the side and do like a mirror and maybe i don't know like a plant or I have to figure that out definitely but not bad so far and I can't believe how well this fit in. 
so yeah that's a little bedroom update um happy with it so far we actually were really worried about the bedroom when we viewed this apartment first day um we thought it was going to be really small because like looking at the measurements i in my head again my spatial awareness and measurements aren't very good but i was full sure that the bed would take up most of the room I was just convinced of whatever way I was imagining things and I didn't think we'd fit anything into these little nooks. I thought it would be awkward um, but the bedroom has really surprised us and we're loving it and I don't know it just feels so much airy. It's more of like a square shape than what we had which was longer but really narrow so I much prefer the shape of this bedroom and even though it's probably smaller square feet it just feels way more like airy and roomy so really happy with the bedroom so far so let me know what you think of that little update and if you have any ideas also one of these doesn't belong okay last on the list now is to put up some pictures here put in the bulbs and then we're getting there Woohoo! we have light that actually works really nice there because there's no um, ceiling light so it's nice to have a little lamp face them down though because they're kind of dazzling jeez these bulbs are bright they're only $6.5.99 the other ones we're looking at were like $23.99 I don't know what the difference is but these look fine really hard gallery walls are so hard i don't know because we have this the only problem is there's like this box thing that i want to cover so if we put the big picture over that maybe and then just build in a few of the smaller ones it's tricky okay so you want to cover this like box thing obviously we can take off the picture if we need to get into it but the only picture that i have big enough is the why hello so we're going to put this up first and then just build the rest around it okay guys many hours later we got things hung up but we we don't really like it it's not really what we wanted like we just left them up for now because we literally spent about an hour and a half doing it i'll show you give me your opinions give me your suggestions about what else we could do maybe like one big picture instead one big mirror let me turn around and show you okay so this is how it looks like <laughs> it's really bad and like obviously the issue is this but the problem is is that there's that like fuse box behind it so we need a picture big enough to cover that but this is too big um so we said we'd tr like try it and see if we could make it work with other ones we have um, we tried loads of different like variations like originally i wanted stuff on this wall too kind of to like make it into like you know a corner I don't know I have this like inspiration picture I'll put it in obviously not as many as I'm showing you in the picture but you know that kind of like corner like both wall gallery wall idea um, but I just think that what we have and what we were trying to use obviously I wanted to just use what we had but I don't know if it's right because um, I like the light in here I know it's a bit random but this corner was a little bit dark so I think it's good to have a light in here and we just had that lamp so trying to utilize it but yeah, let me know what you think. And we're also gonna put this picture above the couch. Um, and we were just about to drill into the wall while Tommy was, but he thought he could like feel something like where we were supposed to drill. So we're a bit nervous to do it in case we're like, I don't know, drilling into something that we shouldn't be. So we're gonna wait until tomorrow and just ask the building if we can do it in this area. But this should be pretty straightforward. I like this picture above the couch. That would be easy. It's just that area over there is kind of tricky but i think that it like it has potential and we're definitely going in the right direction just have to like figure it out so it might be after australia when i actually get that sorted um but we'll just leave it like that for now okay so on that note i'm gonna finish the vlog here um actually from this angle it doesn't look that bad i think it's just that why hello picture maybe if we like swapped out something else for that that would still cover the box but just not as big as the why hello Mm, we'll see and obviously we have to fix other the pictures there's like a gap they're kind of falling down um but anyway i'll keep you updated on that but anyway i hope you enjoyed it i know you're all kind of waiting for more updates and 
tours and blah 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 but as you can see like it, there's still a good bit to be done and we're just trying to do bit by bit but we're getting there and I really love this like dining area section and we've actually really been using that table because I'm too scared to eat on the white couch I let nobody eat on it so we're actually using the dining table a lot more so it's nice to have that corner and just like make it really cozy so I'll keep you updated um let me know your thoughts all the stuff I showed you the bedroom if you have any ideas the gallery wall and we can kind of like decorate together over the next few weeks and hopefully this place will come together quickly so i'm going to leave it here now because we have to get ready we're going to go for dinner it's saturday night <laughs> i need to get out of here um and i'll see you in the next video so thanks for watching bye